Breaking news, my wonderful people, Nigerian government trying to clear their name, have sent DSS to ransack, you know, the home of the terrorist negotiator who was arrested in Egypt. So they are trying their hardest best possible to make it look like, you know, they are the ones who are, you know, uh, who they know what they are doing. The whole, the whole thing happened in March. People boarded a train going from Abuja to Kaduna and even a young girl, a doctor that was supposed to be traveling to the United Kingdom that same week on Friday died on that train. As we speak, some people are still in custody of those who have held them captive. And guess what? Our Nigerian army up till now, over how many months, cannot give a trace to where they are. Who? Oh, welcome to the country. Their lies become the order of the day and people manipulate and the government to a large extent feels as part of this whole thing. It's a shame really to think about the least. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Why DSS ransack the home of the terrorist negotiator who was arrested in Egypt hours after his arrest? Some security forces have shed more light on why the DSS picked on Taco Mamo. A source claimed the terrorist negotiator collected over two billion in ransom for terrorists from people, with some of his payments made in dollars by the desperate family. It was also alleged that Mahmoud rest equally had to do with his alleged strong ties with this terrorist and Egyptian government has been following him for some long time even though Nigerian government let him lose now that he's been captured abroad Nigerian government trying to Nigerian government trying to cover face and now picking on him it's a shame uh, FCT Abuja a report by Daily Trust indicated that Taco Mohammed was arrested by security operative in Cairo, Egypt, for its alleged involvement in collecting ransom. The guy left Nigeria. Guys, you're not feeling me. The guy he did not see. He, there is. He did not. He did not evaporate. He did not. Um, how did they say it now? He did not uh, vanish out of Nigeria. He passed through the Nigerian airport system. He passed through immigration. Are you feeling me at all? Please understand this guy passed through nigeria immigration and guess what nobody stopped him in nigeria because if they stop him in nigeria order from above somebody from the president's office will say release him you know let's continue so we can now go into analysis of the whole thing guys did they deceive you if you feel say they're not waiting they happen about the whole insecurity thing you will just be you are just being used like a dummy sorry that but that's the truth the newspaper cited security sources as saying they, that beyond his relationship with the insurgents in Nigeria, Mahmoud uh, Kaduna-based publisher was also arrested because of his strong ties with terrorist group in Sina areas in Egypt. So why didn't they capture him in Nigeria? But Egypt was quick that this guy has an involvement immediately they captured him because they don't want anything to hold you know to come and bring in security into their nation but nigeria we can allow it to fly and everybody's quiet oh dear dear mm. now the northern Estra northern or northerners living in egypt are uh, adjourn israel's and gazia trips are uh, all in the eastern area like in nigeria despite the decrease in the frequency of attack in recent years military remain active and heavily on those who want to cause insecurity in their country mahmoud who was involved in a controversial negotiation led to the release of several adopted passengers of the march 28 several adopted passengers of the march 28 abuja kaduna train was arrested together with his family trying to flee nigeria after his gross involvement department of state security services shortly after was re he was repatriated to nigeria from the same egypt on wednesday september the 7th another source questioned mahmoud's source 
of income says his activities were monitored, but nothing was done. His activities were monitored, but nothing was done. Egypt do not want this kind of people. Okay? Egypt do not want this kind of people. And so they are doing everything, humanly speaking, possible to get rid. I mean, they capture the guy, say, guy, 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 go back to your country. But in Nigeria, he's a celebrity. Even the president cannot touch him. And then you tell me they have no parts, no hand in what is going on. You need to, t you need to convince me rather differently on a more serious note. This guy was operating freely. We all know what happened in the whole Kaduna train thing. He was operating freely in Nigeria. Nobody, not even, do you know the funniest thing? When the governor of Benue State said that, a highly placed, uh, you know, military guy, when he confronted him and said, why are you guys not dealing with this um, killer Fulani headsman? The guy says, guy, we've been ordered from above. From above not to touch them. He said it, Buhari's government that behaves like they don't, under, they don't hear, they don't see, they, they, are, they are oblivion to what is happening in the country, was quick to respond. And tell us the name of the officer. Eh? So that the officer will not, the wife and children will become, they'll become widow and they will become a, they'll become widow and they'll become a, a orphans. Yes? Uh, excuse me. Who not know now? Now they follow now they do that game. Who not know now? Now they follow now they do that game. The people who don't know you, who think that you are decent people, truthful and honest, are the ones who play that game with you. That's what that means. That's what that means, my people. It's sad, but it's the true occurrence of what is going on. This guy was carrying out his activity, negotiating, collecting money, over two billion. Nothing happened. Nigerian government did not go on him. But as soon as the Egyptian governor, the government in Cairo have been monitoring his activity, that this guy wants to now expand because he's gotten enough money now. Yeah, it's probably, and you know, money fuels whether good or evil. Yes, uh, yeah, guess what? He wants to now expand shit and, you know, spread on his territory. They quickly cobbed him. Yeah, held him for 24 hours, sent him and his family, bam, over there. Say, go back to your country. We don't do this here. No, we don't. Nigerian government now saying, yeah, well, how lame, like how lame, like, excuse me, how lame, like we don't know what's happening. Where are all the security forces when this guy was collecting money? Where are they? Guys, don't get it twisted. There is something seriously going on that you need to understand. Lies, tr trick, and you know, all kinds of things are happening in this matter. Follow us, so we'll be bringing you up to speed. Oh. The whole lies and everything, we'll bring it up to you. Bye for now.